We are doing a video on troubleshooting video problems. Uh, my name is Mike Moran. Welcome to the Virtual Cowboys Tech Roundup. Uh, we have uh, a couple of different scenarios. Uh, a little different when you're dealing with a laptop uh, as opposed to a desktop. And the uh, first thing you want to do is eliminate the monitors being a factor. Uh, it's nice to have multiple monitors like on the uh, racks behind me. And that's one thing being a computer store, uh, we have lots of parts to troubleshoot other parts with. Uh, however, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people don't have a second monitor laying around. So, uh, once you get over here where the camera can see this guy, and uh, we're going to describe the process instead of showing you uh, this video where is going to entail us walking you through it uh, verbally as opposed to showing you. Uh, our camera here doesn't take uh, real great close-ups and uh, doesn't get fine details uh, so uh, a lot of the stuff that we deal here with is very intricate and small. But on a laptop you have uh, two different types of video. You either have a, a video card integrated and, or a video card added on to the board. Uh, and the same thing with a desktop. Now the difference is, uh, well, with a difference is when troubleshooting, whether it's the monitor or not, with a, a laptop, the laptop has a built-in monitor. What you want to do is plug in an external monitor and uh, verify whether or not you're still having the same issue. And if you are having the same issue, uh, it's most likely the video card and then we go on to further diagnosing from there and we'll jump into that step next. And let me make sure I don't leave anything out about the desktop. Uh, well, you use a second monitor with the desktop. If you, you're having the same results there again, uh, it would likely be the video. And uh, which, and if the computer if you can hear it firing up and, and doing what it's supposed to do, it sounds like it's doing everything but showing you the video, chances are that you can fix that uh, with a $5.50 used video card uh, from uh, Salvation Army. Heck, you can probably buy a whole computer for, for 10 bucks and yank a video card out of it. Now, the difference uh, between the integrated video and the non-integrated video with a laptop, you do have to take it completely apart to, uh, to find that out. And uh, with a desktop, uh, most desktops have PCI or ADP slot. Uh, on the desktops, the integrated video would be on the panel that has your PS2 ports, your USB ports. Uh, it's a rectangular panel, approximately 6 inches long, about 2 inches wide. And uh, you usually have an Ethernet port there as well, sometimes audio ports as well. Uh, all those devices are integrated onto the motherboard. And uh, now you have slots, and if you want to show the back of the machine, grab this machine right here. And, and we'll be able to show you an example of this. Uh, we're not going to open it up or nothing, but bring it over here. These are all the onboard devices I would be talking about. It does have integrated video. Uh, these down here, as you see inside the board, I'm going to have to move them a little bit closer. There are CCI slots in there. And when you see a video card, and your top one would be your AGP slot. And there are other types of slots as well on newer machines. But if you see a video card down here as opposed to up here, you know it is a video card, uh, at least a PCI or AGP. If it's in the top slot, it's usually an AGP. If it's in any of the other three slots, or four or five, uh, depending on the board size, as you see, there's some extra room in there underneath the board for these bottom three. I'm going to take that back out. And that would cover what would be integrated and what would not be integrated. Uh, and what integrated means anything that's actually connected to your board that you cannot detach. Uh, in that case, uh, your board would be bad. Uh, in the case with a desktop, a lot of times, even though the board is bad and you can't get video off of, off the onboard video, uh, the com computer may still work if you stick a secondary video card in there. And, uh, 
that would be the easiest way to uh, solve that problem. As for a desktop, uh, laptop, would you agree with me, Scott? However, uh, yeah. you are kind of uh, in a catch-22 because it's not a cheap repair. Uh, it's going to be an expensive repair. If your laptop is more than five years old, uh, depending on how much the repair is, uh, View cards for desktop or for laptops uh, typically range uh, from ninety to one hundred ninety dollars uh, to replace one, and uh, it's not something that is easily upgradable either. Uh, different computers use different types of setups, uh, and and with laptops, you really have to know your laptop parts to uh, to know what's swappable. And uh, although we have a lot of time on laptops repairs, uh, we typically get the same type of repairs and uh, don't get a whole lot of people wanting to upgrade because of the the price deters them uh, when they come in to replace a DVD and they find out it's $190 for a DVD writer uh, they don't particularly uh, uh, hop on that suggestion and they usually back off of that idea and think of better ways to spend their money well there we go that's um, our basics on uh, video cards and uh, let me tell you one thing before we go. It is important to remember uh, that with integrated video, yeah, yeah, with the integrated video, it shares the memory from the computer to power the video. Uh, these video cards have memory right on them. And by installing a video card, uh, you're usually giving back uh, up to 64, sometimes even more, uh, megabytes of RAM uh, back to your computer's uh, main functions. Uh, so it's like adding RAM to your computer in a way. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Alright, there you have it. Uh, that's our video for uh, video. Video card problems. Uh, I think we covered uh, you know, the basics of video cards and uh, how to diagnose video card problems. First off, you want to eliminate the monitors to be the problem. Once you know it's a video, then uh, it's either a problem of being on board and not being able to do anything about it, or being uh, not on board and being able to swap the video card out. And uh, like I said, uh, with a desktop, you also want to try to uh, disable the onboard video uh, in the BIOS, uh, because if you see your, your BIOS flash by, uh, that's one indication that... Uh, you may be able to do something uh, as far as putting a cheap video card in there and getting you up and running. Uh, especially if you hear the, the uh, and, and the lights on the computer, if they all do what they're supposed to do, if it sounds what it's supposed to do, sound like what it's supposed to sound like, and uh, you hear the hard drive spinning, the uh, fans are all spinning, then uh, you're in pretty good shape, uh, most likely. It could be a video card error that, uh, and your board, you know, technically is bad, but uh, you may be able to uh, still use it for many, many years. Well, we uh, appreciate uh, you watching, and we hope you continue to watch the Virtual Cowboy Tech Roundup. My name is Mike Moran once again, and uh, we're hosted from within broad Virtual Cowboy uh, of San Antonio, Texas, on Nacogdoches Road.